Morning everyone. Uh, I've just switched to the Intelligent Octopus uh, tariff from the Go tariff, which is about 20% cheaper, uh, but it's a little bit more complicated. So rather than just having a fixed time slot, uh, in this case six hours rather than four hours, uh, between half 11 and half five, rather than half midnight and uh, half four, um, their Octopus also, for that price discount, wants to control when your charge happens. Um, and so they do that through the Internet of Things, something called OCPB, which I haven't looked up. Um, but essentially they control now my home charger, as you can see over there. Um, and so through the Internet they tell it when to charge. Um, so one of the things you're supposed to do is once you've uh, put in all your details, switch tariff, uh, done a test charge where they test for seven minutes that they can actually do what they think, you're supposed to go into the Octopus app um, and set your charge limits. So you're supposed to set, well, well I want to be 100% by eight in the morning because that's when my commute starts. Um, now, my Octopus app wasn't working. Um, it took me a little while to reset the uh, my charger. You needed to accept that you were going to do this OCPP. Uh, essentially, let someone else control your charger through the internet um, and accept the terms and conditions Then the charger needs to reset to redo the software. Um, uh, but I could never get my Optus app to work to set these charge limits. Thankfully, they set uh, reasonable um, presets. Um, so they, the presets are by 7.30 or 7 a.m. or something, that you'll be 100%. So luckily, those presets just sorted me out perfectly well. Um, but uh, if I could set a limit in the car, I could have stopped it at 80%. Um, so I never got to see the charge schedule, all that sort of stuff that you usually see with um, Intelligent Octopus. Um, but we're all sorted now, Char the car's fully charged. Um, one of the things is, is if you ask uh, from the software more than it can deliver in that six hour time frame, uh, then you won't get extra cheap energy. Um, so you've got to be careful that you don't um, accidentally ask for more than it could possibly deliver in those six hours. Uh, because A, it can't be achieved, and so they'll um, schedule a longer time frame and um, it won't all be the cheap rate. And so you want to maximise your cheap rate, really. Um, and that's what I think the major benefit of uh, Octopus uh, Intelligent over the uh, Go is that those six hours charge allows you to sort of, in, at least on my car, um, fill the niche of the 20 to 80% charge. Whereas I could only probably get a plus 40% charge on a four hour uh, time slot. Um, and this is for optimal battery health. Um, so it'll last as long as possible. Uh, now, if you're just going to do a three year PCP, then get rid of it. It doesn't really matter to you. It matters to the, to the planet and the, and, and the, the owner at 10 years will have an uh, increased cycle uh, on their battery at the end of the and increased degradation at the end of those 10 years. Um, so I'm gonna try and make my car last forever. Um, uh, and so that's why I think this is gonna help because those six hours charging will help um, me do a plus 60% charge to the car. Uh, and that'll mean that when my car's 10 years old, it'll have done 50% fewer cycles. And so the battery will be in a much better state of health. Um, so yeah, that's just me rambling on this morning. Ciao.